Hey everyone and welcome to Collared Lizards Laying Eggs. Today I have an episode of a lightning yellow New Mexico female. Here you can see with a full belly of eggs the day before. She started digging a little bit but you can really see how plump she is now. And I'm going to show you now the digging has begun. I was able to film with one of our nest boxes here. You can see she's pushing the sand out, digging it around to bury the eggs that she laid. I'm going to show the video and talk a little bit for you guys. Generally, you see 21 to 28 days from first blush or when the male has locked or mated with the female to when she will successfully lay the eggs. Sometimes due to stress or other factors, not having a proper nest box and some other things, like temperatures can change this and vary this and sometimes even if the female feels like she wasn't mated with or is too stressed maybe in a small enclosure or something else she may actually retain the eggs and reabsorb them that is common and it can also lead to some complications where the females are too stressed to lay but yet they can't reabsorb it and it can possibly lead to some medical issues that you would need to take them to a vet. As you can see, she's digging around thoroughly, kicking around the sand, piling it up in one end. She's going to keep on going back and forth doing this and it's pretty cool to actually be able to see into the nest box and see what her behavior is. Now she's one of the females that has laid for it before for me and does really well in covering her eggs and doing a good job to make sure that they aren't punctured by her nails and that they're placed really well so that when I do collect them in the past I've seen that she's a good mother and there's no real risk so I'm not rushing to get inside there I'm letting her do her thing right now it looks like she's probably already laid them and is burying them but again, just it's good to really experience. And anyone who's planning to breed collared lizards, again, I have the nest box video of the nest boxes that I use that are very reliable. The females love them and accept them pretty well. And it's a good size to allow. As you can see, she's just moving around, making sure that everything is in place. Because again, in the wild, they do this. And this is long term. And they find a spot to where they'll actually hatch. So I'm zooming in here for you guys to see if I can try and get a good angle. You can see again, she's moving the sand around, patting it down, burying the eggs. And I hope you guys are enjoying this video here. You can see she's coming again, moving more sand to the back, completely covered in the damp sand. And then I'll show you again later once she's finally out. I have put in a bunch of crickets for her, dusted so that she can fill up after this big energy draw to really just get her energy back. And now you can see she's just out. Uh, I just missed her eating a cricket, but I'll show you here in the corner. She was down there, still covered in sand, but from the beginning picture you can really notice how skinny she is. And that's a good marker for those who might have missed the female laying, you see how fat they are and now how skinny she is. And the male's going to come over, give her a nice little kiss and see how she's doing. You can see he's a lightning yellow New Mexico male. He actually comes from a father that had a weird neon green trait. So I'm going to mark this down on the eggs because I'm hoping, fingers crossed, maybe a male will have this. But unfortunately, none of the offspring from the neon green male had that trait. So who knows if it's a hat, if it's hidden, or if it's lost. But you never know, and I'm really excited to see if any of his males do have that lightning yellow neon green color which is really cool now i'm going to show you here i'm going to go and collect the eggs she's right under the basking light warming up but i'm going to gently coax her off again she's just trying to warm up went through all that egg laying stress but again i need to get to the eggs just to make sure that they're incubated properly so i'm going to put her down the male's actually going to run and jump on my arm here as I open it up but again I poured in a lot of crickets as you can see she's going around eating because she can eat as much as she wants now just coaxing the male off here just so I can prop the tile up and show you guys as I dig in for the eggs and you can have the top view of seeing this was all leveled before and she's dug it all up and then buried it all over the eggs so I'm again going slow and gently through being very careful not to damage any of the eggs. I washed my hands before this. I like going barehanded. Some people 
can use sterilized gloves to go in if you're really worried about the eggs but this gives you the texture feel to where if you have gloves you're not really going to feel that very smooth and soft feeling of what the eggs are like and again carefully digging moving the sand out and around and I'll pull it right out of the entrance because I can always put it back in afterwards and pat it down but again being thorough with me digging in the sand very soft very cautious slow there's no rush the sand's moist the eggs aren't going to dry up and I can take my time so I'm actually going to get close to here and actually feel one of the eggs I'm going to slowly move some more sand around and then give you guys a better view of me actually finding the eggs showing you how gentle I am with my finger I can't be more important or harping on how to be gentle around these eggs it's almost like pulling up fossils you know you see them with the toothbrush and you know using a paintbrush or something like that digging I just felt the egg I'm gonna give you guys a better angle here and I'm gonna dig around the egg showing you you're actually gonna be able to see one or two eggs and I'm gonna show you how I very carefully and gently pull the eggs out now this is very important so these eggs were just laid so they still have that little pink dot where they're fertilized and you're going to want that to be up and that's very important especially for when you candle these eggs at day six to check if they are fertile that's where the blood vessels start now if you missed the female laying eggs and it's been over 24 hours a lot of times that little pink dot is gone and the most important thing then is to put them exactly the way they were positioned when they were laid in exactly the way you found them because with lizard eggs they attach to the wall and they can actually be killed while they're developing if you roll them around it's different than bird eggs that can be rolled while they're incubated lizard eggs need to stay in place so again very carefully as you can see I'm not squeezing it I'm literally letting it sit in the crack of my hands gently pulling it out this will be one video as I show you just transitioning over to the vermiculite that I have I place it in I already had an indentation and I'm gonna gently push over the vermiculite around the side rub some of the sand off because you don't want too much sand because as it swells up that can inhibit it but again pushing it in moving the vermiculite around to be the perfect distance and I'm gonna do this again with all the eggs and then show you she actually had an amazing clutch of six eggs so I'm keeping my fingers crossed for another neon green male. But again, you saw the male, and I'll show you again later at the end of the parents. He's going to have some nice yellow color too, so I'm looking forward to these eggs as well. And who knows, maybe one of his daughters might have that trait later down the road. So again, six healthy, fertile, lightning yellow New Mexico eggs here. And I'm going to put them right into the incubator. Again, it's open, so I'll show you the temperature on top. But I'm actually going to incubate these guys at 86 degrees, hoping for a more neutral ratio here. But again, these guys are an inverse uh, temperature uh, determination. So more females in the middle range, more males towards the lower and higher range. But again, it'll warm up to 86, and I should expect around 45 to 55 days. And again, here are the proud parents as I can show you the female just hopping around here and I can move over to show you the male zoom in a little bit closer as you can see he's still a little cool because this was early in the morning but he has some high yellows a little hint of the green that his dad had so I'm hoping maybe he can pass it on please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you